Well, it's the start of the 2024 regular season, but we're not actually at the start of, of the of the matches yet. Um, we're doing a few interviews before the start of the 2024 VCT Americas kickoff event, and I have the pleasure with being alongside Sassy of Sentinels. Um, thank you so much for for taking the time, Sassy. Once again, like I said before the start of this conversation, I just want to start off by just um, catching your mind at this moment of time as to um, um, preparing with the team. What's that like so far? Now that we're a few weeks since or before the start of the new year. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm feeling honestly, I'm feeling pretty confident. Uh, first, because we've been working really hard uh, since Champions ended and the off season started. So, uh, I mean, we have been through changes a lot during the year, <laughs> classic. But I know, I don't know, like how to explain it. But I, I'm feeling like really confident, especially like after we won Korea on Africa TV League. I think it was really important for for our team. Not talking about like in game things like comp meta or whatever i think was more like building how can i s explain like getting used to the pressure as a team as on, on this for walter i think was really important for us to understand each other and yeah so i think like we're pretty confident for this kickoff oh yeah of course and uh, as as everyone knows um the things that that concerns around this team you know we, we saw various uh, changes well not really varies but a few changes to the lineup uh, as it relates to sentinels and most specifically with john cutie and and zeus is joining uh, as the idea and then the x6 men respectively um when it comes to to now playing with these two people in particular and having them fit in with the rest of the team in sentinels what do you feel was the the single thing that you feel that the team had to adjust the most, or maybe uh, looking at looking at at the other side of the coin, um, one thing that they feel they had to adjust when it comes to joining this team? Um, oh, I feel like playing with John uh, was like the same way that I got used to play with Sahak, for example. He was he's an IGL that is really open minded of like about like, new ideas, so it was like. He, he gives a lot of space for everyone to talk and to share their thoughts about the game during the freeze time. So it's kind of easy to adapt with him. And I felt really comfortable with him on the first try. And Jordan, you know, <laughs> Zaz is like the guy that we needed, honestly, because just the personality that he has and the effects that he gave us, especially on the kids. Uh, I say kids like Zach and Tyson. <laughs> and uh, I think like we always joke about him like being the vibe guy. But it's not only about that. And I think that he's a really important part of the team. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, it's always important for a team to have that one person that just um, brings a very good energy to the team to just have like a, a good and that also gives you guys the, the right mindset to then compete when, when the time calls for it. And uh, yeah, you, uh, it's interesting, you know, listening to you talk about Zeus is um, exactly how big, big of a of a role has he been to to the teams um showing so far in the offseason and also behind the scenes. Yeah. It's like Jordan fuck. <laughs> How can I explain to you? It's like Jordan uh, Jordan is like a special guy though because I think he's the guy that reminds us of what is their final objective, you know? It's like we all want to win, of course. We always say that, but he is kind the kind of guy that he doesn't even need to say it, but he's always remember uh, reminding us like why we are here, why we're still playing, why we're still practicing, uh, what is the goal for today. So this is the guy. Like even if you're feeling like down on the day, he's the guy that will cheer you up and get you on the track together. Like I don't know. I just feel that he was a. He was a, like a really good addition to the team, and I think the offseason proved it. Oh yeah, of course, of course, it, it really does um, uh, give a sense as to how much the team has improved, both within and also outside of of, of tournaments. And so, in 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 talking about that, I also now want to talk about. Um, the previous year in 2023 of course you know everyone has been giving their thoughts as to 
the year that was and the difficulties that 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 um you guys have experienced in particular but now that we're roughly um a lot of months since the end of um the sentinels participation in the 2023 vct season back in lcq um what do you feel what was the the the, the biggest obstacle that you feel that prevented um sentinels uh, from achieving any sort of success mm -hmm. I feel like last year especially in the beginning it was a time that no one was really feeling comfortable uh playing with the team especially like the roles we had a lot of like I think this this was the biggest in my opinion like the role issues was like so big like even myself like I tried to play controller for some time <laughs> I won't say it was the best idea, of course, but like at the time it made sense. So I was like, nothing's working. So I'm I'm down to try it. I don't care. It doesn't matter if I need to play controller because I just want the best for my team. And I felt that like we stayed like this for a long time, you know, like trying to figure the shit out. <laughs> Sorry about the word. <laughs> so, like good. trying to figure like, okay, what are we supposed to do here to make this team work? Because we had such good names, good players on it, and it still doesn't click. So we're like changing players, changing code staff, changing like, I mean, everything, honestly. Yep. Yep. And um, and now I just feel that we found our place. It's like, oh, it's even weird, right? You, you see even Tyson playing, like Tens playing controller, and you guys are like, oh, what is this? But to be honest, it's what... It's what worked. So like we tried that way and it worked. Everyone felt comfortable. Even Tens himself felt comfortable about, around it. So yeah, I think like the role issues was so big at the time and we kind of got lost on you know it. So yeah. sort of felt like the team just sort of lost its identity, right? For for yeah. this, for, for, for the not even team. lost identity, but like <laughs> we didn't even find one. So okay. that was the hardest part because of it. Now we're we actually built one, so it's way better. How would you describe this identity then? You know, if you could like have a way to describe it and 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 mm -hmm. and, and this and say it in front of like fans and stuff like that. How would you describe the team's now new identity for for this year? Mm -hmm. I think we're like with John and Jordan. Um, they like really they work really well together. So it's like. I used to be the second voice more uh, on my last team, but on this roster now, I feel that like Zels is, is more the second voice on the team. And I'm the guy that is like just mid rounding. Like calling mid round is really important, especially when you play initiator. So like I'm not that, that guy that is like trying to call with John and et cetera, but I, am, I, I always give my thoughts on the game. But I think Jordan is uh, doing his job pretty well as the second voice of the team. So it's like they work together. I'm kind of the guy, the dad of the kids, you know, like trying to control Zach and Tyson, like to, don't do crazy stuff and um, and control the pack more along with Jordan as well. So it's like, I won't say that we're disciplined yet because I don't feel it. Even that we were winning the tournaments in off season, I felt like we had a lot of undisciplined moments, mm -hmm. to be fair. So it's hard for me to say that we have an identity like that said, you know, it's like we're still growing it, but like I think it's too early to say that. I, I think if you ask me like after like two or three months, I can <laughs> I can tell you a, a better answer on this. <laughs> All right, I'll be sure to to send a request in exactly two to three months so that I can <laughs> then have a follow up on, on that. Um, um, now sticking with or going back to to Zelsis, of course you know we've been seeing him compete with the team especially like in in, in the, the later stages of 2023 during the off season and yeah. i i'm kind of curious as to like where he's going to fit with the team in the server like for example is he going to be much more active uh during matches or is he just mostly going to stay in the bench stay stay at six man mm -hmm. where do you see um his contribution later on in the season once it kicks up and then we go of uh past that i'll be honest it's hard for me to answer that because honestly the this kind of answer this kind of responsibility comes from the coaching staff 
like they they ask me like my opinion about it but in the end it's like it's their decision you know so, yeah, i'm just like a player so i'm like i don't know i'm just it's hard for me to say right now but i still think like i still want like the six man roster i still want like everyone to work together and i think that's the best way um but yeah i think you should ask kaplan <laughs> I all right, to be rude, by the way. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I really, I, I appreciate you the, the the honesty. Um, now going into to to the off season and more specifically into the changes of the game. Um, we've seen a, a new map pool, Icebox returning and stuff like that, and also the recent um um nerfs to Sky and Agent that you that you played um in your most recent matches last off or last year. And so, what's your opinion on these? Um, new changes to the game during the offseason. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you really hate it? Do you really like it? Or something like that? I mean, I don't like Sky, of course. I didn't like that much to play with her. But the thing is that I don't know what Riot wants uh, on their game because they nerfed every info agent that has in the game. Like They nerfed Sova first because, okay, it was OP for sure. They Then they nerfed Fade and then they nerfed Sky. So there is no more like agents that can collect info as easy as their tree. So we got into a spot that oh, do you do you do we want to play with those nerf agents? Or do we want to play with another initiators that can fast up the game, you know? So the way that I see the meta right now, it's hard to be sure about it because there's no tournaments yet like I, I feel that we are going to identify the meta pretty quickly when the vct comes back uh but i think teams are going to decide like if they use if they want to use like gecko if they want to use gecko ko because those kind of agents like ko bridge gecko are agents that are not good to play a solo initiator and now we see most of the comps are like double controller and a sentinel normally so for you to use a solo initiator you would use like fade or sky and now sky is nerfed so like now people are trying new stuff you know so it's hard for me to see that which one is better you know if it's like the double initiator is back or do we still keep playing double controller or and play with fade or sky or whatever because it's still like it's only practice you know I think we're gonna see for real on the matches like what is better, and I, I and I feel that teams on VCT will try new stuff for sure. So like I think we can expect people to play Gecko KO, people that can play still solo Sky on the comp, or people that will go back to Fade or Sova. But yeah, I think if the meta goes to double initiator again, we're gonna see a more fast gamers for sure. Of course, of course. And um, I I know you said that that we can't really yeah you can't really say about how um it's going to affect the meta once before the start of the season we're just gonna just have to take for everything to to kick off to now have an idea as to what the game is going to look like um 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 and its current state but um as of now how has these changes affected your role in particular because it, it, it's it it, it includes it, it can i'm having a brain fart what's wrong with me it can <laughs> it includes um agents that you're basically famous for playing you know sova sky a little bit of sky and so um how does that has it affected your role in particular mm. Um, in the beginning, it was hard, especially when I started to play Sky, you know, because it's it's an agent that can get info, of course, but it's more like a agent that needs to scale, needs like to be in the front, and it was really difficult for me in the beginning. But you know, I've been playing league for ten years, I think. <laughs> I've been a league pro, and every two weeks the patch came out, and the meta changed every every two weeks. So like. For you, for you as a player, like you need to be able to adapt on those kind of games, especially from Riot, because if you don't adapt, if you're not able to adapt and play with other agents with other roles, I don't know, you're just gonna be a normal player. It's gonna be like 
another one trying to play the game. So I think this is the big difference about like being a really good pro, just a player. I think you need to be able to adapt and uh, I'm not scared about changing and uh, I need to be able to, to change my my role, my like, oh, I, I'm not playing with the info agents anymore. I need to scale. Then, yeah, that's fine. I will do the same thing. And that's it. So, like, you always need to adapt it. I It was hard for me in the beginning, for sure, like the first month. But I had a good help from Drew and Cap uh, from the coaching staff. And uh, I felt more comfortable around it. Of course, of course. And uh, one more question before we wrap it up. Um, it's more so about your thoughts on the rest of the league and also your expectations for um, this team, this this iteration of Sentinels uh, in VCT Americas later on down the line. So uh, it's a f- sort of two-parter. Um, wh- what, is, what is the one team that you feel you want to face the most uh, for this year? And also the second part is... Where do you see the current level of Sentinels now compared to the rest of the league? Uh, you're talking about like the America's League teams or in the world? America's. America's? Okay. Um, I think. I think I'm most excited to play against Leviathan. Because uh, Aspas is my old teammate and uh, they got calm now. And they have a good roster. King Mazin are good players. Stacks too. So I think they're a roster that can surprise everyone. And uh, I don't know. I just, I just like to play against Aspas. It's always hard, of course. <laughs> it's always crazy to play against him. But I think like playing against Levant will be funny. It will be like a fun match to play. And uh, yeah, I think if we need to prove ourselves, we need to be the best teams, of course. Of course, of course, and hopefully you, you guys are able to do that. Um, Sassy, once again, thank you so much for taking the time. Mm-hmm. Really appreciate it. Best of luck to the team and also for you for this kickoff and then also later on down the line in the future. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Pedro.